So now we're going to learn how to wind our bobbin and this is the bobbin and um, your sewing machine should come with at least two which is more than enough as a beginner and then later on you can buy more but yeah I'm gonna remove the thread and this time I'm gonna follow a different set of rules so on your sewing machine you should see two set of numbers and um, one is not highlighted, the other one is highlighted. So the one that's not highlighted on my sewing machine is to just um, tread your machine normally. While the highlighted one is to wind your bobbin. So we're gonna follow the numbers that are highlighted to wind the bobbin. So this one is still the same step, putting it in here. I'm gonna do that again. So you just put it in here. And then you two, is not the same so not only is the text highlighted but you also have these dashed lines and the dashed lines is for the is for the body so you first put it in here number one and then number two you put it to the back of this as well and then just follow the lines take it forward first and then put it at the back and then put it under the cylinder. So after you've done that, just take it down here. I'm gonna do it again because I can see it's kind of confusing. So after I put it through the back of this, put it in front of this, right? And then just on this thing protruding out, then under the cylinder, and then you drag it over here so for number three you have to you have to put it in through the hole in the bobbin so your bobbin should have should have should have holes you can put it through any one of the holes so after you put it in through the hole you put the bobbin inside this and then you have to move this over here. If you don't move this over here and you try to, you know, press on your foot, it's not gonna work. So you have to first move it over here. So after you do that, just press on your foot control and you should wind your bobbin for you. So it's going really slowly because the settings on my machine has this on the lowest one. So if you just put it over here, it goes much faster. Okay. So that's how to wind your bobbin. I'm gonna do it one more time. So yeah, I'm gonna do it one more time, just in case. Um. So again, your tread is over there or over here depending on how big it is um, so first you put it in through here and again pull the dotted lines put it through the back of this in front of this through the cylinder then you put it in through so this is the same bobbin i was using so i just cut off the thread and i'm just going to make the bobbin fuller this time Put it into the hole and have patience with this. After I put it into the hole, then you just put it in here. Make sure you move it to the side, unless it won't work. And then you press on your foot control. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention, you, you should hold the thread up because if you leave it down, it's going to get tangled up with this. So just hold it up and then when you're done, you just cut it off with the scissors. Or you can even cut it off right now if you want to. But make sure it's really low or you're holding it up.
when your bobbin is full, your sewing machine is going to stop by itself. It won't go anymore, as you can see. No matter how much I press on the foot control, the thread is not winding on the bobbin anymore. So it does it automatically by itself when it's full. So you don't have to worry about knowing when to stop. So yeah, that's how to wind your bobbin. Just cut off this thread and this thread and you're good to go. Okay, you finish winding up your bobbin, make sure to put it back in the original position. Because if you want to sew, it's not going to work. So it was here before. Make sure you put it back to the original position before you start sewing.